Hey folks, it's Mangirl, and today DJI has decided to release the official backwards compatibility firmware, which makes this guy, the Cadex Vista, compatible with the Goggles 2. So these are the new goggles that released very recently. And we also now have the ability of linking the Vista with this. This is the DJI Remote Controller 2. So let's switch over to the computer. We'll take a look at the actual release notes. We'll do the update and we'll do some bench testing and see how this actually performs and if there are any kind of quirks to be mindful of. Let's take a look at the release notes. As you can see, this did release today and it looks like we have Air Unit firmware, we've got Goggles firmware, and we've got the actual Remote Controller 2 firmware. What they have added in is, of course, support to use the new DJI Goggles 2 with the original Vista Air Unit. It says recording from the Air Unit is not currently supported. Now, in my testing, the goggle recording works. This may be referring to the full size air unit where you have the onboard recording. Perhaps that's what is not working. I don't have one of those, so I cannot test. They've added in support now to use the remote controller too. So this is a smaller gray one. Added support for canvas mode. And this comment is quite interesting because this backwards compatibility only works with the goggles too. So the fact that they're saying canvas mode only support is only supported on the goggles too right now makes me wonder if down the road we're going to be getting some kind of additional piece or additional functionality that would allow this to work on other goggles perhaps so here i'm trying to read in between the lines but it's a little bit weird that they're calling this out here a couple of things to bear in mind after updating the air unit will no longer support the v2 or the v1 or the black controller yes this is very important so this will only work with the goggles too once you make the update looks like they give you the opportunity of downgrading to the prior version to use this with the v2 v1 or the black remote I did test uh, try to connect this latest version to a V2 goggles and it just wouldn't bind. So both will go into binding mode, beep, 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 but nothing will happen. Uh, the rest here are just typical overheating and so forth. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the updates. And of course, to update the goggles 2 along with the remote controller 2, you are going to use the consumer drone series version of the DJI Assistant 2. So let's go ahead and do that. Now that that's complete, we are going to switch over to the DJI FPV series version of the Assistant 2, and we will use this to update our Vista. And now that's done as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we actually see within the Goggles 2 when we are in the Vista mode. Now that we have the firmware updated, let's take a look at how the image looks like in the goggles along with what kind of menu options we have available to us here. First thing I'm noticing on the Vista is that the megabits seems to be under 50. That's a little bit of a surprise. The Vista is literally a foot behind me right now. So bear that in mind. We'll take a look and see how the O3 looks like. Now, if I pull out the menu here, we can see that I have the ability of switching between the different modes of the goggles too. And one thing to bear in mind, when I do change modes between the FPV air units, the Vista or the O3, the binding is no longer lost. So it keeps that binding within the goggles. One thing to bear in mind, very important, the binding on the remote controller too, that does get lost. So every time you switch between the O3 and the Vista, you will have to rebind your remote controller. So very unfortunate, but at least, uh, you know, we, we want something here. So let me go back, back, and then transmission. And under transmission, we've got very similar options here as the O3 air unit. The ham file modification does work. I am in an FCC region, so I'm in Canada. But for some reason, the goggles come only with channel one. After I put the ham file on here, even with the Vista, I see the additional channels now. So that's very good. Under settings, again, very similar kind of look and feel as what we would have with our O3 air unit. Camera, it seems here like it's a mixture of what we had previously with the V1, V2 goggles and with the O3. So rather than here saying, 
60 frames per second 4K, it gives you the option of high quality or low quality, but otherwise similar kind of look and feel, nothing really here. One thing to also bear in mind, in my bench testing, I did find that in a couple of situations when I powered on the Vista, it connected to the goggles too, but my screen was blank, was, was completely black. And it looked like everything did connect, but for some reason, I just never got a display. So all I had to do was power cycle the Vista and the display came back. So something to bear in mind, it seemed like it's still not perfect. Let me now quickly switch over to the O3 Air unit. I want to see how this exact picture looks like with the O3, just for comparison's sake. And some of you may be wondering how much better the O3 video quality is. So let me go ahead and do that. First thing I have to do is I have to, nope, not that. I have to go into here. I need to go switch. I need to go switch, switch this guy over, and then we'll be right back. And we're back, so definitely way better image quality here with the O3. Everything looks quite a bit more vivid, sharp, and higher image quality, so no surprise there. And you can see that even though I'm sitting exactly same place as I was previously, the O3 air unit gives me 50 megabits. So I think here really it's, it's an issue with probably the firmware or something to do now with the O3 transmission on the older system but it's something that we have to keep an eye on, especially during test flights. So I hope you like this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and stay tuned for more videos.